Hello everybody, I'm uh, coming in today to show you how to make banana pancake. It's dead simple. I like to do banana pancakes because they're really healthy and they're really yummy. So you can eat them feeling like you're having something naughty but actually it's something that's really quite healthy. I eat them for breakfast with salmon and salad as well as my porridge so I get my carbs as well. But you could have it for lunch, you could have it for tea, you could have it as a snack. So when you sat there in the evening thinking, oh, I'd quite like something else to eat, come and grab banana pancake, dead easy, dead quick, and you know you've had something that's going to fill you up and it's really good for you as well. So literally all we're using, one banana and two eggs. I'm using olive oil today. To cook with it's not necessarily the ideal oil to cook with you'd be better off using coconut oil um, however I don't have any so we're using um, olive oil today all we're gonna do we're gonna bang the banana and the eggs into a mixing cup so I hope you can see this all right so my daughter loves these as well she has these for breakfast with me and again, I know that <clears throat> instead of giving her cereal, I know that she's had her porridge and then she has banana pancakes and salmon as well. And then she's had something that's filled her up really well with lots of really good nutrition. I like to cut it up with a knife to start with. Just makes it easier to mash up. Right, so while I'm doing that, I'm going to start the oil heating up. I only have a small pan for this, so sadly it, it, it doesn't work as well as a big pan, but we can get a nice big thick uh, pancake. I'm going to put a little bit of oil in there just to coat the bottom, but we do want it reasonably hot when the pancake goes in. We have to be careful using olive oil that we don't want to overheat it. When it gets to a, a certain level it changes, it starts, starts the oxidisation process. So. We don't ideally want to be cooking that olive oil at high heat. So what I'm going to do is I want to heat the pan up to the temperature I need it, pour the pancake in and then turn it right back down again. So. Okay, so I've mushed those up with a knife and then I'm just going to finish it off with a fork. Timely. Okay, so you're probably going to struggle to get most of the lumps out, but as long as the big lumps are out, it'll be absolutely fine. I uh, don't know how well you can see that, so it is still quite lumpy, but it's fine. So I've got quite a bit of heat in the pan now, so I'm going to pour in the egg. If it's hot enough, you should get a nice little sizzle just as you pour it in. There we go. That little sizzle will start cooking it instantly underneath so you're not going to sit it in there for ages so straight away the pancake will move within the pan if you move the pan so i'm just going to turn that right down now so just moving the pan around the pancake is moving um, around the pan if you need to just tap at the edges just with the fork just to make sure it's not going to stick so if you've got a bigger pan, it will cook a lot quicker, so it won't take long to do. This pan's not quite big enough, so I'm just going to spread the mixture out as much as I can. The more it cooks before you flip it, the better chance you'll have of flipping it. But at the same time, you don't want to burn the bottom, so just take it nice and steady in a minute. If you're not sure, just lift up one edge. And just have a look at what colour it is. Ideally you want it a nice golden, golden brown colour. Now I, I love flipping pancakes. But so this pan is just a tad too small so I'm not able to do it with a banana pancake sadly. So I'm going to let this cook a little bit further and then I'm going to try and manoeuvre it over. If you have too much liquid it does get very difficult to turn it over. So if, you, if you're not very good at flipping pancakes, 
you want to get it looking as much like a pancake as you can at the end so we don't just want it to fall apart when we flip it over okay so we're starting to get a bit more it's starting to get a bit more solid turn the gas down so hopefully this will go over nicely today I'm gonna slide that under there and we're gonna work well today, possibly. And try and get this over in one go if possible. So turn it over, the excess liquid will roll off into the pan and then flip the top over. And again, give it a little shape. So we've got a nice golden brown colour on that side. Because by and large the pancake is now cooked, it's not actually going to take as long on this side, so don't leave it in there for too long. But again, if you're not sure, just peel up the edges and just just have a look if you if you want, and you could have an idea how far it is cooking. Okay, so I'm happy with that, so I'm going to flip it out, and there we have my banana pancake. It'll need to cool down a little bit. So I normally have this with, with salmon and some salad leaves and I'll put a drizzle of olive oil over the top as well and I like to have it with pine nuts. So the entire thing, you've got a healthy meal, we've got the protein from the eggs. Eggs are one of the most nutritious things you can eat, nutrition wise. It's got so many different vitamins in it. Bananas, they're really good you've got your fiber in there you've got your potassium there uh, another good source you're getting one of your fiber day in there as well your olive oil you're getting your omega-3s omega-6 same from your pine nuts they're very good for omega-3 and 6 and by getting your salad on there you're getting all <clears throat> a whole different array of vitamins and things as well so it is a really good start to the day but remember it is a very low carb it's a low carbohydrate uh, meal so it wouldn't be enough just for breakfast on its own. That's why I have, I have porridge as well. But as a snack, it is perfect. So I hope that was useful to you today. And we'll be back with more recipes that are quick and easy. Thank you for watching.